morning. Good morning. How are you ladies? <laughs> so, um, I'm sure some of you have been interacting with me. I am Faiza, the head office in supply chain, responsible for vendor management. I must have addressed your Ariba related inquiries and fleet management and insurance. So um, I would like to talk about my blog today. That is a new interest that I've developed. Um, so basically, I've been working with the company since two years and I started traveling around the same time. Um, upon my recent trip to Sri Lanka, I had noticed that the situation there was not really good. It was impacted by the bomb blast over there. So I created this short video to create awareness that it was secure and it was safe to travel because it had really impacted the tourism, which actually kind of gained popularity, I would say, I wouldn't say viral, otherwise mm -hmm. everybody would have known about it. But yeah, it did gain a lot of popularity and I realized that, um, okay, fine, I could maybe make a difference when I talk, you know, people are engaged. That's what I've learned whenever I speak about my personal experiences, about my struggles. I've noticed that people are actually engaged and they learn and they get inspired. So I thought of taking this to the next level and creating a blog. So my interests are on travel and food. That's what I started blogging about in June. I have my own website, I've created an Instagram page. I don't have a lot of content at the moment and still working on it. You know, with a full-time job, it gets a bit difficult, but I try to invest my weekends working on that. It still needs to be enriched with content. Um, but it's quite new. So it's, it's, it's quite new, yeah. but I'm getting there. I'm still yeah. working on it. Um, and I, I have traveled to, I will be traveling to three countries. This would be my third country in November. I'm traveling mm -hmm. to Baku. You'll hear about it soon. I'll be posting on it. And there are just some pictures I'd like to share with you. Yeah. Um, so I took my kids. These are my kids. I have twin daughters. Oh. <laughs> They're eight years old. And they went for the first family vacation this July. And I, I didn't know they were so good at posing and it was fun to take their photos. So we basically visited Kashmir. You must be aware that it's a disputed part uh, of land between India and Pakistan. But it's beautiful. I mean, if you get the chance to visit, you should. You know, it's secure. At least the part that I visited, the situation is a bit tense, but it's fine. And these are my daughters. And this is a picture I took. So I'm into photography a bit. That's an interest that I've developed. Um, trying to improve it further. While we were on a road trip in Kashmir, I just stopped by on a bridge and I took this photo mm -hmm. with my camera. Uh, there's a story behind every photo, so I'd like to talk about that. The next one. This is like the desktop images. Yeah. It's so yeah. beautiful. <laughs> so this is the part of Kashmir called Rati Gali. You really have to either trek a lot for an hour we have to go on horse to visit this. It's a bit difficult to reach. Mm. We had to take a Jeep. It was a two hour drive over the mountains with a road that wasn't developed. It was literally on the rocks, but it was worth it. Every bit of it was worth it. Mm. So this is one of my favorite photos because it's like, it's a reflection in the yeah. water. Mm -hmm. The mountains are reflecting in the water. So this is a shot I had taken on my train ride when we were heading to Kashmir. So the different part about this photo is that you can see the train form into an arc. Mm. Um, <coughs> I've enhanced it a bit, but it's one of my favorite shots. Mm. So it's the only way to get there by train or if you don't drive? Yourself? No, you can't get there by train, that's the thing. So we took a train from Karachi to Rawal Pindi, and then we had to travel by road. Mm. There, uh, there is no, uh, my basically target was to have my experience, uh, my kids experience a train ride and a plane ride mm -hmm. because it was the first vacation that was my target. So we went by train and we came back by plane. Mm -hmm. So they got to experience mm -hmm. both the things. But it was fun, you know, because during the train ride, I realized there were no distractions. So I got my kids to myself and I didn't have any chores to do. Yeah. It was fun. Mm -hmm. It was a different experience and they also loved it a lot. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So since I've been taking photographs of these famous landscapes, we mm -hmm. stopped by at Islamabad mm -hmm. because we had to catch a flight from there back to mm -hmm. Karachi. Mm -hmm. And I ha must have tried, at, I think, a hundred different shots to get this photo yeah. <laughs> and couldn't capture it in the frame yeah. of the camera. Yeah. So this is Faisal Masjid. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. It's a very famous masjid in Islamabad. The architecture is amazing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, the social media is filled with that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this is Petra, Petra. Jordan. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is the year that I had started traveling. It was the second country I visited after moving to the UAE. Uh, and the Sikh, this place, this valley is basically called a Sikh. And the stones, they're all rose colored. Mm. So there's a long history about it, and I think so far they've only excavated, <clears throat> I'm sorry, 40% of the entire Petra. So people actually go there, they spend two, three days just to explore this place. Mm -hmm. And you can't do it by foot, you may have to, you know, hire a, mm -hmm. a, a horse to get the, to some parts of the places. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so this uh, structure is called the Treasury, it's one of the famous attractions in Petra. How many of you have visited Petra? Did you, okay, fine. How was your experience? Did you explore a lot of area? I mean... Yeah, I've been um, all over basically in one day. I missed uh, Petra at night, so unfortunately. And for me, I have traveled to so many places around the world, and Petra was the most mm. mind-blowing experience mm. by oh. far. Yeah, it was. I was very humbled. Uh -huh. like, mm. I still can't understand how they did all of that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, during the ancient times, you, yeah. it's difficult to understand how they built such structures. But I actually got the chance to experience Petra at night. Mm. And I was worn out from walking the wow. entire day. Wow. So I saw them laying out these candles in the passage. Mm. Okay. That part I got to experience. I didn't. I couldn't spend more time there. I wish I could have a mm. short on time. But yeah, it looked amazing. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite How photos. did you do it? You, you uh, put it on a... It, it, it's taken from a DSLR. My friend had taken the okay, shot. Okay. Didn't do it myself. Right. Nice. Natural. Thank you. Yeah. And then this is Turkey. One of my favorite countries I've yeah. visited. This is Dolma Bachi Palace. Uh, how many of you guys have visited? Mm. So if you ever plan to visit Turkey, please do visit Dolma Bachi. Yeah. The only downside is because the operations are government related, they do not let you click photos inside. Yeah. But it is grand. I mean, it will, it will bring tears to your eyes. It's yeah. that great. So do visit Dolma Bachi. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have a really good shot of the Blue Mosque, but this was Ayyub Sultan Mosque mm -hmm. in Turkey. Mm -hmm. Because at that time I didn't start blogging, so I was not <laughs> taking photos from that perspective. Mm -hmm. So. There are a lot of beautiful places to visit in Turkey. I um, had visited Istanbul, both the Asia and the Europe parts. Yeah. Mm. So, you <laughs> dressed up in the traditional costume. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I spies, spies, and I was wondering who does it. Now I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was reluctant, but the guy was like, come, come, come. <laughs> and then I tried on the costume, I looked really, really good, good, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, this is my recent shot I had clicked when I visited Khasa mm -hmm. in Oman. So beautiful. Yes, so it is. And I thought that maybe driving for three hours would be, you know, tiring, but no, it actually wasn't. It was fun. I yeah. always enjoy road I love, trips. I love yeah. Too, yeah. And when there are more friends, you know, the more the merrier. That I, could I be like a part. postcard, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And believe me, it's not even Great. filtered. Yeah. It's just natural. Yeah. No filters. Beautiful. No flight store, man. I mean, you should take the car on you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's better. Okay. It's nicer. It doesn't take long. Okay. So this is a short wow. from Sri Lanka I had mm -hmm. visited in uh, June. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I, this was taken in Ramboda. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite favorite clicks from my Sri Lanka trip. Mm -hmm. This yeah. was Yalla National Park. Yeah. And I think I don't I'm not really sure if it's the tree or if it's the cloud, but you know it's the elephants. The elephants, yeah. 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 All together. <laughs> this was taken in uh, Yalla National Park. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is also from Yalla National Park. Mm -hmm. 
So this is a stupa where the Buddhists worship. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the most famous stupas in Tissa, very close to Yala National Park. Mm -hmm. This is Pinewala, the elephant orphanage. I'm Kastor, sure some of you guys must have heard of, of it. Kastor. So luckily we arrived at the time when the elephants were getting their bottle. shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were taking a shower. So these are all the baby elephants. It's okay. By the way, this is, I'm telling you, I read your blog post on the food. I immediately said, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, she's put it like, even she, you put like the ratings yeah, of each is. dish. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, and if I go, I'm not having that dish. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, when we're at work, we end up going out with colleagues for lunch. And if you're living alone, then you must be dining out very frequently. So I decided to blog about food as well. And I'm yeah. still improvising on my photography. Um, it's so good. I these are some of my shots. Okay, so can I just request, can you do something in the Dera vicinity? Like, I can get <laughs> yeah. from this. This is, this is an actual need. Actually, Pizza. that's true. Okay, like, you should do something. Order, like yeah. healthy bits, you know, or like a cheat meals. That's true. I could do that. You know, I could categorize it that way. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. food, <laughs> healthy bits, junk, something yeah. like that. You know, come up with great the, the best chai in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. You know, I could, I like could. That. That's a good yeah. idea. Anybody. So, but this the photos were so good that yeah, uh, you're so I, I was actually I was going to go last weekend and then my husband reminded me it's Diwali. He's like, <laughs> yeah, please don't go because it's going to be packed. Mm -hmm. So we've kept it for we're going. Mm -hmm. So okay, sorry. What's that bottom left? What was that food item? Is that that photograph? The slideshow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This bottom left. So when we were in Candy. There's a very famous place called Hela Bojan. Yeah. But from our hotel, sorry, I'm sorry. From a hotel, it was almost 45 minutes to 60 minutes walk. Yeah. And we kept on walking, walking. Everybody would say, yeah, it's just right around the corner. It's just right around the corner. We would keep on walking and we were mm. starving. So this is basically their street food, as you can see. I don't know mm. the name of this dish, but I think it was stuffed with chicken and potatoes. Mm. So it is there's just and potatoes. Huh? Cutlets, oh, fish and potatoes. Fish and potatoes, okay. Oh, okay. So that's what it was. This is all Sri Lankan food. Yeah. So I created a collage to show what it was. This was a dessert. So mm -hmm. was that. It was a grape with coconut and oh, I, I jaggery. It looks like almonds. Yeah, it looks like almonds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And mm. that is uh, string hoppers and uh, yeah. hoppers. So yeah. You must have, yeah, yeah, that's just now them. Yeah. And this was <laughs> also some, uh, I don't know, it had Candies. some stuffing in between. Don't mm. remember exactly, but all of this is Sri Lankan. Mm. So this mm. place called Hela Bojum Hela served Bojum. us. So it took us an hour to walk. We ate and then it all got digested when we had to walk back. But it was worth it. Mm. It was worth it. Very reasonable. Do you only take pictures for food and like nature or also people? I mean, because they're so beautiful. I mean, if you can just take picture for us and make us that beautiful, I will be <laughs> so happy. I could try that. As yeah, well. I mean, for, because you're talented, really. So this is now the vlog. So right? this is my website. Yeah. I've actually created a website and I'm still adding content to it as and when I get the time. There are two categories. One is travel and one is food. Okay. So in food, you will find some restaurant reviews. That's a very comprehensive write-up. And there are flash reviews. So if I haven't tried a lot of dishes in some restaurants, or if it's just one dish I want to write about, mm -hmm. that goes on the flash reviews. So what we'll do is we will email the group here uh, your uh, web, your website and your Instagram, so people can then follow. Because yeah, sure. Yeah, then people are you usually divert people from your Instagram anyway to the blog. To the website, yeah. yeah. And website. I also have a Facebook page, but I'm still working on it. It needs more improvement. Yeah. So I am available on Facebook, Instagram, and I have my own website where I post my blogs. So please do visit, share your feedback, please add your comments, mm -hmm. and let me know if there's anything I can improve mm -hmm. on. Okay. Thank you very much. Sorry? Smokeaholic. Smokeaholic is one of my favorite places. You know, I, I love smoking shisha. The oh, food there is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> food, you know, and it has like this different type of shisha that I've yeah, imported. So if you click on it, I'll, I can show you. This one? Smokeaholic. We don't encourage smoking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just showing you the towel. You know, it's different. Change your mindset. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so if you just scroll down towards the shisha section, you'll see the table of contents. Uh, yeah, so wow. so oh. looks like a lab. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is very interesting. So it's now three of us in laboratory. Exactly. The shisha. So they have fruit shisha, and this is the standard one. My favorite is kiwi salsa. Not encouraging smoking, but yeah, this is this is what I used to de-stress at night. <laughs> but they do have the same in Lebanon. They do have the same with the watermelons. The oh, same idea, really? exactly. So. so yeah, do visit these places. They're high recommended yeah. I don't post about places I did not uh, find appealing <coughs> yeah it's only the highly recommended restaurants yeah that's great thank so, you Faisal thank Fahala. you so much <laughs>